here with the great Freddie Roach at the Wild Card Gym at John Pascal's uh, workout. Uh, tell me, Freddie, how did even working with John Pascal? How did that come about? Yeah, he showed up here one day, <laughs> and then he wanted to work the mitts, and I said, "Yeah, sure." So we went down, we we came down and worked the mitts, and uh, um, we did very well. We and we got along with each other, and then uh, um, he said he was going home for a while, and then. Uh, um, then he came back, and um, I said, you know, I still, I told him, I said, I can't work with you. I, I said, um, I'm scheduled to have back surgery because I, I messed my back up, and uh, I says, um, I, I can't train anybody right now. So I says, yeah, you know, you know, since staying here. So he kept coming back, kept coming back. <laughs> so then he kept coming back so often, and I started working with him every day, and then, um, I canceled the back surgery and here we are. <laughs> That's a great story. Is part of taking on a fighter like Pascal, obviously knowing who he's fighting already, Kovalev, and being that Kovalev's like a pound for pound fighter right now, uh, undefeated, all that, is that like part of the challenge, kind of part of the decision making process in taking a fighter like that? No, it's really hard to actually make the decision because Kovalev is a friend of mine and he comes here and trains here and um, he might be a little mad at me now and so forth, but it's just work, it's just, it's business, you know. But you know, I, I, if I take a job on, I'm going to give my 100% to, to my guy. So I, you know, anything I've learned of Kovalev while he was here, I will use, and um, you know, that's just the way it goes. And uh, um, I hope we're still friends after the fight. But the thing is, uh, you know, my guy's really improved quite a bit along the way, and I think he's a very good student, and he's picked up um, on a lot of things very quickly. And um, I expect a much, much different fight from than last time. Pascal had some success in the first fight, um, obviously with his right hand, with the body work, stuff like that. Is that stuff you guys are going to um, kind of try to capitalize on and continue to do that, or just totally different game plan? Totally different game plan, yeah. Just um, real smart, much smarter, much better boxer. No more Roy Jones look alike look, look <laughs> like no, stuff. None of that stuff? None of the cockfighting stuff? No. <laughs> Another uh, Canadian you've, uh, you've been working with or have worked with in the past is uh, GSP, George St. Pierre. Uh, we've heard that he was going to do a six-week training camp with you. What's the latest with that? Is that going on yet? Uh, you know, George came by um, and worked out uh, last uh, Friday and we had, a, we had a real good work and him and uh, John were speaking to each other and uh, so, you know, um, he's uh, he's getting, he looks like he's getting ready for a fight, so um, he trained really hard and uh, um, so right now, we, the way we talked last time is that um, he is thinking about it right now, but he hasn't made his mind up yet. Well, another um, last question. Manny Pacquiao, obviously, we know he's going to be fighting Tim Bradley again. You're going to be going up against the Firemen. Uh, <laughs> how do you feel about that fight, and uh, what could we expect to see in that fight? Um, I expect Manny to shine, and as long as um, the surgery that he had went, went it, it looks like it went, everything went well. And um, so I, I don't think it will bother him in that fight, and I think we'll overwhelm this guy like we did the last two times. Does Teddy Atlas make a big difference in that fight for you? I don't really think cheerleaders make a big difference. No, I mean, just, you know, I don't. I, don't. I mean, uh, you know, he might be a good trainer and so forth, but this guy's been with his original trainer for a long, long time. And um, a change that late in the career, very difficult. Well, hey, Freddie, thanks a lot for the time. We really, really appreciate it. Best of luck. Thank you.